That's a lovely shot for Rory Burns to string onto the pads. An instinctive little work through mid wicket, quite straight mid wicket. And that'll be 50 for Rory Burns. It's been a really good knock. The first half century of this match. He's anchored this Surrey response. He's batted really, really well. He's not given a chance. A lot of players have played and missed a fair bit in these testing conditions. It's been crunched away. A rare boundary this morning, but a valuable one. It's beautifully driven. A little too full. And for the second time in the over, Burr setting these still underwater. That's nicely played by Roach. That's a clip off the pads. That runs away for four. It's his first boundary, I think, of his 86th ball. It was on the pads and it was full, but that was masterfully tucked away. It was a screamer. Well done. Thank you. That's a lovely drive from Burns. He does manage to thread it through the infield this time. It's a reinforced infield, but Burns... That's edged and that's gone. Finally, Hampshire make their breakthrough. Roach couldn't resist. Wide outside the off stump, went after it. Gets a thin edge through to Brown, but a really fine knock ends. Now. Oh, that's been cut up and over. Is that gone all the way? I think that be, might be Surrey's first six. Cameron Steele, what a shot that is. Ricky Elcock, who... Uh, was the first black pilot shot steel on the front foot pressing through the line didn't need to over hit it to the short boundary his best shot so far up to 19 edging and caught behind next ball so Abbott does strike straight away with the new Dukes and boy Hampshire needed that That'll be a boundary, squeezed out. Again, it was close to the stumps, but Clark watched it all the way down onto his blade. Nice control. Nick Happett here with another. Clark throws his hands at it, back-to-back -back boundaries. That is sped out to the short boundary. So 12 runs plus the wicket in the over. ...with administrators. Shot again. He started well here, Clark. That's his third boundary. He's managed to catch up with that very effectively, Jordan Clark. One-hander, and let's run away fine for four. That will run away through the kit of pigeons and does just beat the man, Tom Press. He's not had a good ten minutes, having dropped that catch earlier. And there it is again, the old carbon copy. And... Yasrana's earlier point about a third slip and living a little. And he's taken the single and he's comfortably home. Rory Burns raises his bat, takes the helmet off, acknowledges his mates up there in the bedster stand and takes a bow. Got a good look at that. Hit so well that the man at deep square leg had no chance. He's given that everything, Clark. You can see when he swiveled back, he got a great look at it. That might be a consideration. With Clark throwing his hands at it like that. Not the most convincing square drive, one hand off the bat, but one man to beat. He was up, short boundary, four more. Lead up to 129 at the end of the over. 280 for seven. We're going to take a look at... Ooh. Thick edge, four more. And Clark to 47. And Clark out through cover. That'll be a half century. He won't get there with a the boundary. That's the long side of the ground, but he will return for three. Clark had just about to run a ball throughout. Jordan Clark really taking the attack to Hampshire. Across the line goes all the way. Flayed away, four more. Dawson 
trying to go well wide of the off stump in response. Beautiful shot. In the slot. The game has changed. Reversing. Where's it gone? Into the hands of the man at backward point. And that will be that for Rory Burns, but a fine innings. Atkinson's first ball. And he's knocked over. Stump out of the ground, middle stump out of the ground. There'll be no biffing from Surrey's number 10 today. Abbott gets a fourth, 317 for nine. This might end in a hurry. The lead's 166. And there you go, beautifully done. Daniel Worrell, it's one of the shots of the day. He's just lent on that. Checked it through, extra cover. Bonus point as well. He's climbed into that, and I reckon that's gone all the way. Yeah, six of the best. It was like he was waiting for it, hanging back. Driven hard and beats the man and that runs away for four, straight down the ground. A signature shot. What a knock this is. 96 deliveries, 100 in a session here. The Keir Oval rises as one for the second time this afternoon. Now they've both dropped catches. And that will just... Comes back for two. And I think he's gone, yeah, gone comfortably in the end. A good piece of work, I think it's Fletcher Middleton out there at deep square, and he recognised that Dan Worrell... Opening the blade. That'll be his first runs. Won't get four, not quite, or oh, you will. My apologies, there's a little misfield on the rope. Oh, shout, yep. Puts him on his feet, sends him packing. Worrell wins that one comprehensively. Alior, his troubled stay is complete. Edged and taken a second slip. Wickets in consecutive overs for the hosts. First it's Worrell, now it's Roach. It's been so predictable over the last couple of years. They always strike with the new ball. <laughs> Nicely driven. Full width. And Gubbins is going to take whatever's on offer. Oh, and again he beats the bat. It, it, in that over, sorry to interrupt, <laughs> I, I think he beat, the, he beat the bat authentically three times. He turned Vince round once and he played a false shot down into the ground to the second slip.